Well, welcome everybody. If you've been even if you've seen a couple of my videos, you know that I've planned on playing this. From the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am at the moment starting this before Shadow of the Earth Tree comes out. I wanna at least make my character and all that, so that's what this is. But this won't release until whenever I release it, honestly. So I have beaten this game, and this is the first and only Souls game I have beaten. With this one, I have beaten it 100% also. I've gotten all the achievements. And I'll show you my character real quick before I make a new one. So I'm starting a fresh game. Because this one's on new game plus plus plus. Oh, I was messing around with armor. So why you would usually wear, in one second, I'll show you. Um, I think I usually wear you. Yeah, I wore the scaled armor, right? Beast champion. So I did a faith. Uh, what what did I do? I did faith arcane strength build. Sounds weird. It worked out quite well, and you'll see why. Cause there is a sword in the game, and it is the best bloody thing I ever used in this game. Here it is. This was my build. Blasphemous great sword build which destroys all and is amazing i also use spells of course um the second i will show you that when i get uh, i forget we need it's been so long it really has it's been very long for me oh there it is i use the golden order seal right 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 okay put that on Oh, I have no mana. One second. There we go. So I would use things like protection of the Erd tree, which will increase your defenses and other things. I would use this. Also, my other weapon I would sometimes use, but I stopped using it quite a way through my playthrough is, we all know this, Sword of Night and Flame. Look at the sword. Oh, it's amazing. And then I also will use Swarm of Flies. Uh, I love the dragon spells. I love the breaths. They're good. I love them. Here, let me sit at the grace so I can show you a little bit more. But yeah, this is... And then... Yeah! And my favorite one is... Oh, I don't have it on currently. And it's fine. I always go for the Scarlet Rot Breath. Because if you can get that on an enemy, you can be a coward. So, I don't know what I'm planning for this playthrough, honestly. Because there's so many element statuses I can try my best to do. But I honestly don't know. And I'll show you the last armor set I usually run. Oh, by the way, the uh, talismans I use are Shard of Alexander, Roar Medallion, Roar Medallion, Woohoo Breaths, Primal Glint Stone, Glint Stone Blade, and Great Jar's Arsenal. Without these, I would not be able to use most things. Also, uh, yeah, I do use summons. I am a wimp. Also, where's my other armor I would use? It is... Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. And then I would put a hood on, because I don't like the helmet. I think it's this. No. No, not that one. There's a pretty okay hood I would wear. Ah, there. This is what I mostly ran after I, you know, got to the end game, the veteran ar veteran armor with a hood. Because so I don't like the helmet very much, and I, you know, like this. So, uh, before I even go do a new game, and I'm doing my best not to look up in case you don't want spoilers, even though we all know how this game goes. I do not know how this playthrough is going to go. I do not know how well it's going to go. 
I might have gotten 100% on all the achievements, doesn't mean I'm good at this game. I cheese the, the Millennia fight. Let me tell you that now. Oh, I did solo, trust me, but I did my best to cheese that damn fight. And if I fight her ever again, I'm going to try and do the same thing. I will say it involves the sword and something else. But yeah. Honestly, I do love this game. It was my... Oh my god, look at that guy. I don't know what build I am going with, though. That's the thing. Let's... Re not quick game. I have played her for 151 hours, by the way, with this character. Which, by the way... Uh, expect the face to look sim- oh, whoops, oh well. Expect the face to look similar, because I really like this face. But yeah, I guess it's time for me to quit out and begin a new way. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what build I want. I- I don't know. The summons in the game are helpful, but I know it makes it easy mode. Listen, I'm not the best at this game, okay? But here, I'll let you guys have this cutscene. Is the cutscene? Oh, no, okay. Um, mm. Professor Wrench. Alright, so we got Vagabond, which is basically Knight. Warrior, which is a two-handed user. Hero, which is a battle-axe shield. Bandit, which is... I'm... I might go bandit or rapier, maybe. Astrologer, prophet, samurai. I wanted to go samurai at the beginning of the game, so I went with samurai, and this is the one I went with first. Because katanas were very strong when this game first came out with bleed. You'd be shocked to know I didn't stick with katanas for long, so yeah. I could always try again. But yeah, they got Prisoner, which we all know where that helmet's from. They got Confessor Wrench. Honestly, hmm. Maybe I'll go Strength build this time. You know what, like, I think... I don't know. I really don't. Like, these don't really matter, but it does help you get a feel of what you want in the future. Ah. Okay. Um, I think I want to go, like, a Halberd Lance. Maybe. So I think I'm going to go with you. Name shall be... Well, we'll go with the usual. I am mature origins. Ah, oh, that's your class keepsake. Let me see. Crimson medallion. Medallion inlaid with crimson and amber increases your max HP. The gold of great oh the lands between rune. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between. Used to gain many runes. Uh, a gold seed. A gold seed washes washed ashore from the land between. Said to enhance sacred flask. Banged amp, uh, amp, banged amp, banged imp ashes. The ashes of small diminutive golems. Ashes are said to hold spirits within. I might go them. Cracked pipe, up. Oh. Yeah, cracked pot, not pipe. Three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves. A container for certain throw items. Then again, a stone sword, a stone sword key is very, yeah, stone's word key is very, yeah, stone's word, not stone sword. Actually, it could be stone sword. Yeah, I think it is stone sword. Ah, uh, goddammit. I'm sorry, it's really early for me. A stone sword key, two uh, stone keys shaped, with two, not just one. Okay. Uh, oh, but the two stone keys shaped like swords break the seals of, on imp statues, but can only be used once. This unlocks special areas where you can get really, really good items, basically. And there are a bunch in the game. The Bewitching Branch. Five sacred bran branches charged with beguiling power. Beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Vakela. 
the boiled prawn. Five pieces of boiled prawn. Boosts physical damage negation. Uh, also given to us by our buddy, who we, I will find in this playthrough. And uh, Shabri Shabriri's Woe. The craze like of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Track enemy's aggression. I'm gonna go with this. Better safe than sorry for me. Okay. Oh god. Ooh. Uh, I. Oh, jeez. I think that's paler than me. Loner. Oh, jeez. North. Ooh, seafarer? Maybe. I'm gonna go seafarer. And now let's do this. Mature voice. Let's see what we got. Sample. Alright. I'm going to keep the skin tone. Alright. We are going to just... Get ready for fashion souls. Oh, wait, I don't want this, do I? No, no. Oh, arrow. I have a Uno Brown. I absolutely hate it. Alright, let's see what hair we got. I'm very picky with hair. And I think if you've already seen a bunch of my videos, you know this. Honestly, this ponytail isn't too bad. That is awful. Um, not like that. That is perfect in every way. No. Alright. Um, now I look like the guy from the new God of War series. You know, I think I'm gonna go with the ponytail. I usually never go ponytail, but I feel like I can make that work. Hair color. Let's try to get to my hair color, shall we? A nice dark brown luster. Yeah, that is as much luster as I usually have. No, 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 it's way too much luster. There we go. Root darkness. We'll do graying a little bit. I, I'm not actually graying, but I like characters, you know. There we go. Eyebrows. Yeah, anything but the Uno brow. I do my best not to have one. I have eyeliner. I'm going to have to get rid of that. That's messing my eyebrows up. Yep, match hair. Yep. Facial hair, my favorite. Actually, that beard's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna keep what I have on right now. We have some thick stubble, we'll keep. Eyelashes, I don't think really matter. Especially to me, they're eyelashes. Eyes, iris color. I'm gonna change that to something closer to me, thank you very much. Um, uh, that's close enough, I guess. Skin features, pores. Uh, not really sure what. Okay. Skin luster. There we go. Oh, I could make myself just absolutely dry. Yeah, no. Just card that dark circles. Um, I'm gonna take them away a little bit, but they're there. No, no, no. Sorry. There we go. Cosmetics, eye makeup. There it is. Get rid of it. Don't want it. Much better. I don't need eyeshadow. That's better. Look at him. Tattoos? Let's see. What do I want? Absolutely not. No. I could have an axe, but nah, it's generic. Uh, 
Uh, not feeling any of these. Oh, we're going tattoo bliss. Eye patch. You know what? We're gonna have an eye patch because look at that right there. Eye patch color. Let's just make it black. Alter body, um, body hair match, masculine, Let's see, how do I zoom, I just forget, ah, found it, I think, yep, there it is, I mean, max body hair actually is not much, I'll just do some body hair, there we go. Save the favorites, why not? There's my man. This one. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's do this. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus' offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. their newfound strength triggered the shattering a war from which no lord arose a war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmir, the all knowing.
across the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. And now it begins. Right, let me just get the button. Oh, I got a heavy roll. Right, I know how equip menus work. All right. Okay, okay. All right, let's do this. The wizened finger. Uh, it's gonna feel so weird starting a new game after not playing for so long and getting a lot of things in the game. Not everything. Oh, damn it, really? Not here? Oh, I'm sad. Alright. Oh, that's crouching. I'm trying to remember the buttons again. Nope, nope, nope. I took it, that guy jumped off the ledge. There we go. Elden, the all-knowing chapel. Oh yeah. Give me a second. That is screenshot worthy right there. Oh, the blood stain ruined it. There we go. I'm gonna need a. What's it called? A... No, not you. We're Sprint. Ah, that's not Sprint. That's not Sprint. That's not Sprint. Why can't I find Sprint? Why am I this bad at the game already? No. 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 Aha! There's Sprint. Alright. By the way, a heads up, I'm not that much of a PvPer. I just prefer to stick to myself, so you won't really see me do PvP. Alright, let's end this. Me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm bad. You can win that fight and get a really good weapon, but I'm not that good. And now he throws your body off the ledge. Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order.
flask of crimson tear and the flask of cerulean tears and the flask of there's an item up there but we'll get that later wise hud display yep <clears throat> the cave of knowledge lies below cave of knowledge they add this uh display and stuff a little bit after the game came out because no one knew that was tutorial land, so people will just immediately leave. I'm gonna go down there just to bore myself up. Jump down the hole and you will find the Cave of Knowledge. There, you can learn more about game controls and basic uh, actions, as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures in the lands between. I keep accidentally crouching. Grave tarnished. Take the plunge. Of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. And then the tree. Which. Praise skeleton. Oh! Yeah. Hey, skeleton. There's multiple skeletons in there. But yeah, we're gonna go down here mostly because there's items you can get. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, plunge and attack, baby. All right, so you, yep, switch, use item, got it. Can't use my finger, my fang in ashes yet. Oh. All right. Here's our first sight of grace. Sights of grace. Resting outside of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flask. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find these sight of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired from in, in the form of info items and can be accessed near inventory anytime. Visions of Warrior. I have no reason to sit beside Grace. Oh. Seek strong foe. We'll see. Time to do it. Alright. No, not doing that. We're doing this. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Woo! Oh, guarding. Uh, use Arminit. In your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. Would not recommend getting your stance broken. I can do this. Let's see how much damage it does. No, that's actually really good. Holy cow. Dodging, yes. Ooh, I like that. Fortnite. Alright. Dash. Just dash. Alright. And now, our first actual enemy. Alright, each hand can be equipped with three ornaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Or, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Right, bees dodge. I win. I might as well do this. Alright. It's going to take me a while to get back in the groove of this, because I wasn't the best at it, but I did okay. I died, I don't know how many times. A lot. You'd be shocked, I died a lot. If you don't die a lot during the Souls game, you are either doing it wrong, or you're being really good. Which you're better than I'll ever be, so... Yeah! Not having it. You can go away. 
good. Keep... Oh, wait, skills. Armor... Uh, yeah, I've been using them. So, all the weapons in this game have different skills. Some of them are really good, some of them are meh. Armaments have special uh, abilities called skills. Skills are highly v uh, varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. They also use FP, which is this move I've been using. Oh, oh, oh and you, yep, crouching. Crouch makes it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. I know. Here we go. And oh. Hole. I mean, you are right. That is a hole. You want what? I will applaud you, dear sir. Blood stain head, therefore strong foe. Stance breaking. Some enemies may break an enemy. Oh, some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make uh, it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. So, something like this. But yeah, just because I'm using this weapon and all this right now doesn't mean I'm going to stick with it. I'm just going to use whatever I really feel like. And Stakes of America. On dying, you will be revived at last side grace that you visit. However, if there's a Stake of America near where you died, you can choose to be re revived there instead. This is a nice, not a, a nice addition to the game. So you don't have to go back all the way to the site of grace and come back. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a guess and say I'm, I'm going to die once. Just saying. Alright, guard counters. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. Oh, okay. God damn it. I have a different game in mind with the buttons. I'm screwing myself up. I expect him to die once, but also he's not boss boss. He's just temp, uh, or boss. He's just a regular enemy. You find more of them outside in the world. I actually expect that to go a lot worse, but, ah, well. I'm not going to complain. What's this? Still no jumping. I mean, you could jump. I wouldn't recommend it. Wait, how have you guys died? Yeah, you grab the item and then what? Oh. Strength. Alright. Let's do this. Let's get out into that beautiful, beautiful open world. Which, by the way, when this game came out, it was my game of the year. For the game looks amazing. I love the gameplay. I love the more open world RPG feel of it. Oh, yeah. And then if you have a stone key, you could immediately open this. Wouldn't recommend it. If I remember correctly, that one is actually hard. I think. I haven't played in a while, so you have to forgive me if I'm remembering things wrong. I'm actually going to set aside Grace. Uh, all right. Yeah, I can't use the ashes yet. I don't have it. Yep. Oh, use. You don't have one. Oh no. Ah, uh, cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger. And your objective is to defeat the area's boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host fingers. Probably won't be doing much of that. Not because I don't trust people or this and that. I, I prefer try to do it by myself. The only one I 
it's not spoilery for me to say. The only one I ever, 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 ever use summon is after I defeat them the first time and every other new game plus I did to get all the achievements, the final boss, because they're annoying. It's not that they're hard, they're annoying. Are you ready? I hope I am. You wanna, um, I'll leave my own, oh, oh, hello. Uh, map menu. With the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings, or the commas, in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Oh, I forgot, when I first played this game, you couldn't place landmarks. Whoo, I remember all that. Lastly, through your map, you can select side grace that you discover and travel there instantly. However, there are some dungeons and other areas areas where this cannot be done. Yeah, so, by the way, uh, this is the world map. So far. Alright, give me a second. Ah, I actually want to put a message down. Uh, message menu. With the message menu, you can write messages that players in other worlds can read at the spot where you left them. You can change the message format to leave more complex messages and also attach gestures to your messages. You can rate other players' messages. Whenever another player rates a message you've written, your HP will be replenished. Visions. No. Visions of comfort for when you open this door. And now we're here. This is Limgrave. I believe it's Limgrave. Oh, uh, actually, I don't think we know yet. Now, another thing is I don't know. Oh, wait, materials. In every corner of lands and lands between you will find fruits and flowers mushrooms and butterflies and various other useful materials these materials can be used for crafting so i don't know if i'm doing everything in the game so if i don't you know uh summoning pools in each area of you, you may find effigies of martyrs these uh eff effigies are summoning pools you find it easy to summon other players at these locations, as co-op and hostile summoning signs create created with small effigies to gather at summoning pools. And now I should be able Nope, I can't, never mind. But yeah, this game is beautiful. Oh. But yeah, I don't know if I wanna do every single boss. Like there uh, um Millennia Blade McKella's um, dungeon is completely optional. But it has a side story that goes with it and all this and that. And I don't know if I want to fight her again, but we'll see. That's not for a long while. Guidance of Grace. Grace e exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along a proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. So if you ever need to know where to go, it's pointing to that church. So, yeah, the, the it's useful. It, it gives you a little tip of where to go for them. This is for the main story, by the way. Completely optional. You do not have to follow this. But basically, oh, the map. Use your map and check your current position as well as terrain. Oh, wait, I already, yeah, no, I already read that. 
But yeah, it's basically pointing at church area, which then there's a site of grace in there too. And then there's that guy who is an optional boss for the beginning of the game who will whip my butt. Alright, man. Let's talk. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? I am. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are made Oh god, no, not maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Give me a second, I noticed my audio is a bit weird. Did I turn the audio down one day when I was doing stuff? Where would the audio be? Audio, 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 audio. I'm using a gamepad, rotation speed, vibration. I'm gonna quit game real quick and check the settings because I noticed the volume is quite low. Even though I turned it up in the OBS, it still seems quite low. I think I might turn the volume down last time I was playing it for easy grinding, maybe? Oh, yeah, no. You have to forgive me. Oh, that is way better. My bad. Okay, so last time I played, I was turned the volume down because I was trying to finish up. Oh, that is better. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times mm -hmm. that is the guidance of grace a path that a tarnished must travel hmm indeed grace's guidance holds the answers it will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow even if it leads you to your grave Grace's guidance to Castle Stormvale. Oh. Over on the cliff. The home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. So up there. Is that your all your audio uh, it's stuff? It's time you set off, I should think. All right. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you if you seek the Elden Ring. Maidenless as you are. Alright, let's do this. So, um, do I want to give him a shot? I know I'm not going to win, but just for you guys, I will try. This guy. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, my audio's peaking now. Let me adjust the uh, OBS audio. My bad. I didn't honestly. I didn't know that the um, game's audio was lower. I was wondering why it's quiet for me. And uh, this is gonna happen sometime. Upon dying, you'll be revived the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at that site of your death. If you die, again, before reclaiming those runes, they are lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of those lost runes. Do you want to say anything about me dying? It's time you set up no. Castle okay. Storm. Honestly, decent attempt. The charge ability is really good. For you. I'm not gonna lose sleep over, sleep over it. Also, ouch. Okay, don't play around. Don't backstab him. Can't backstab him. Uh, I believe with those guys, you can kill their horse. Maybe? I don't know. Round three. I'm gonna give this one more good old college try, and then I'm gonna uh, just not fight him. Like I said, my 100% complete this game it doesn't mean I'm good at all. No, 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 no. It just means I'm either a coward or I play not against stupidity. That horse tackle. Nope, dodge. That horse tackle is awful. Way? Hey. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Hey, I'm halfway. Uh, I'm just gonna touch that so it can go away, because that's just gonna annoy me. And you will see me picking up materials, just right now I'm running to this to get gone. We're going this way. Bird leaf flower.
Alright, okay. Alright, I'm here at the church. Golden runes. Screw you. I'll beat you one day. I'll come back when I'm stronger. Alright, I'll touch the side grace after. Strengthening armaments. At smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the land between, you made me a blacksmith. You can make your armaments stronger. Specific menu, yep, 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 I know. I just won't be able to upgrade anything because I don't actually have the runes. Hello, Mr. Merchant. You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Bacala. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Okay. Recommendation. You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Very useful, this. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. Mm -hmm. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom counts, after all. Yeah, the uh, crafting kit's really, really good. You kind of need that. And that would be it. There it is. 300 runes. And then there are some armor, which, yeah, eh. and then they have notes, telescope, bunch of cookbooks, which the cookbooks are really, really good. Goodbye for now. I will be back for your items, but this man is broke, or the boss beat him senseless. Fast travel sites of grace throughout the map. Yep, so you can fast travel sites of grace. Yep, I know. Alright, and now you see how it's pointing me in directions? And then you also you have the uh, figures on your map, which they do move over time. But yeah, it's still pointing me this way. Which, if I... Hmm... I need to install that app, because back when this game came out, so made an app marking every dungeon in the game. And it was very useful. I'm gonna have to re-download that. Because, boy, there's a lot of good items in those dungeons. Ah, there I can stop. Oh, wait, that's where I came from, isn't it? Did I just go back to... I am an idiot. You'll have to forgive me. Got a rune fragment. You'll probably mostly see me just wandering around for now. Alright. Oh, but not what I wanted to hit. My bad. Alright, let's go. No enemies except him. And he ruins my day. For some reason, I'm thinking there's a dungeon down here. Damn. Oh, 
do not want to fight that guy. But yeah, there is a dungeon down there. Remember, it's a seaside cave, if I remember correctly. I won't do it yet, because there's other reasons why I'm not doing it. Hello. Goodbye. Thin beast bones, which you can make stuff out of. That's right, run for me. Alright. I'm not getting anywhere being here. She get moving. I'm just mostly exploring. I might have beaten this game a few times, but it doesn't mean I know everything there is to know about this game. In fact, I don't. I know the basics. I know I suck. God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. I have a different game's control scheme in mind, so... Yeah, I keep screwing it up. You get... Uh, fruit. Oh, hey, I did find a dungeon. Ha ha ha. Cave ahead. I love it when I randomly wander and I find a cave. Yeah, yeah, it's catacombs. Yeah. Alright. My goal is to just get a bunch of, uh, you know, things and, uh, hello. A proper death means returning to the earth tree. Have patience until the time comes, and the roots call to you. Oh, yeah, I... Hello, trap. Yeah. Please, thank you. My, I might be rusty, but I'm not that rusty. Sailor imps. They will be the bane of your existence when you come into the catacombs, because their weapons make you bleed. And on top of that, they hide in every nook and cranny. But yeah, you want to learn? Look around corners. This is a Souls game. Do not just walk in. I think you'll be fine. Also, they're stone. They're not... They're like a stone creature, which is why physical damage to them is not the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm remembering this dungeon. Also, these... The glow warts... Uh, glove warts will uh, upgrade your spirits, which are summons. Which are very useful if you want to use them, which you might be shocked. I do. That's right. I'm one of the guys that use those. Mm. Uh, hiccup. Mm. I know you're alive. Okay. He's done. Alright. I don't have any health regeneration other than my heals, and I don't want to waste them all. up ahead. Oh, 
Oh, someone died. Got one up. Oh, there's nothing up here. Damn. Wait here. You know, I'm feeling like I shouldn't go over there. here for the moment. Okay, that's not what I planned, but it still worked. You're gonna, you're gonna notice I play like a coward in these games. I need all of these, because I will be using summons. Question is what summons what I'm using? I haven't exactly decided. down, ruin his day, open with the lever, which now opens the way to the boss. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Alright, we're going back in because I know there's more loot. It's just... <laughs> There's the three of them. I have an idea. Ooh, it could work. It's risky, though. Okay, um, I'm either about to die or kill them. You guys, I, I, I see you waiting there. Um, I don't have a throwable item yet. Dawn. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Oh, yeah, no, this is just death. Let me do this. they come. And that is what I planned. Okay, that is how you do it, by the way. That is the coward's way of doing it. And now I got all the loot in here, and I have all the runes. Now the question is, will I be able to kill the boss? I for I don't know the boss in this area. I, I don't remember a lot of things. And what's not helping me at the moment is I have game brain where my brain is thinking this is a different game. No, you're, you're coming to me. I'm not coming to you. 
Okay, is there someone behind me? No. do this because I don't have enough FP. Yeah, he's back now. Let me see. Uh, it needs 50 FP and I got 78, so I should be able to use that. Can I use it until the boss? Uh, I might not be able to use it until the boss. If only I had lightning, beware of strong foe. All right, let's do this. Oh, damn it, I hate this guy. This guy is so weird, okay? I don't know why I keep using the charge attack. Alright. Yeah, I hate this boss. It's move. This might be funny to say. This boss has such weird movement. It's really hard for me. Okay. Parry. There's no way I'm parrying it, by the way. I'm not saying I'm going to parry it. I'm saying I'm going to block attacks. Let's do this. Come on. Also, why can't I summon you? I should be able to summon them. Also, let me put my helmet on. Let me see. What gives me the most? I'll take those off. Still got heavy load. Uh, I'll take the sword off. There we go. And then if I put this back on, it goes to heavy load. Okay, we'll do it like this then for now. Yep, still can't, which is a shame. God damn it, I tried dodging. It's just such a weird attack. Why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? a weird enemy with weird movement. I just can't read it.
stay near it. this enemy so weird it either does a quick attack or a very slow attack it's not in between yeah it's weird i can't use my summons despite being having enough fp do i have to memorize it no, because you can just equip them. They're a regular item. Why don't I remember how to use summons? I don't know. Yeah, it's a strong foe, all right. I could change you out with the sword, put my gloves. Yep. Okay, okay. Let's do this. up at the end just to get you if you do that. I, I why am I dodging into it? Stop dodging into it. Why am I dodging into it? Just go up to it. Stop dodging into it. Why am I dodging into it? Stop, 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 stop. Run up to it and hit it and go. Instead, I'm rolling forward and I'm deciding. Ah. I'm not good at Souls games, by the way. Still don't know how I 100% completed this solo, but I did.
wait, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. No, I can't lock out. Why are you not locking on? Oh, you fool. You almost killed me. Back up. Kill me here. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Ooh, I did it. Okay, the sword's really good. <laughs> spear, something spirits. With a spirit calling bell, you can use the ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP, except one summon, which we'll get to a lot later, which was heavily nerfed. Heavily nerfed. <laughs> you can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. That's... I'm shocked I did that. Oh my god. All I got was spirit ashes. Dog. Does that mean I can actually use them now? No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man, I did it. That makes me a happy, happy boy. I thought I was gonna die, but the uh, shockingly, the FP moves from that sword are really good. Oh, I need a heal. All right. You know what? I think I'm actually... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going to. I'm going to call this one here. I know it's short, but... I think that's a really good ending. For everything that just went down for me. Ooh, actually, isn't there a... Thing where I can hide my helmet? Or is that a different game I'm also thinking of? No, I think it's a different game I was thinking of. Okay. Play Blood. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, that went as well as I thought would. Except I thought it'd be a lot, lot worse. But the sword's actually really good. I was trying to do the Hellbird, but only had the one move. And on top of that, it attacked too slow. I need something a lot quicker. But yeah, I'm happy. And now I'm back, baby. Been so long, so long. I haven't played this since... Oh god, when was the last time I played this? Um, probably like three or two months after it released. Because I got this when it released and I just went for it. I 100% completed it. Don't know how, but I did. But yeah, I'm going to see you next time. 
And um, this one I think I'll record far in advance, just so the character's already created and all that, so... We'll get this done in one way or another. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.